everyone, Sophia here for my great challenge. It's day four of my DIY closet and uh, I'm pumped today. I am pumped. Okay, before we start, uh, if you're new, welcome. Um, I'm building my own closet in my bedroom. Standalone closet, not a walk-in or anything, but I gotta, you know, build walls and all of that and she'd rock the whole thing. I have zero carpenter skills, I don't really know what I'm doing, uh, but I'm doing it anyway because um, I need a closet. <laughs> and I'm cheap, I don't want to hire. So I'm doing it myself and I'm learning along the way. I hope you are too. But today, before we start, I want to talk about attitude and attitude is everything. Yesterday, uh, the day started very poorly for me. If you watch the video, you know why. And I got here late, which is the same time I start today, actually. I said I was going to start much earlier, but I had to go to Home Depot. But anyway, I started late, and by the time I started, I was already exhausted and very frustrated. And that totally changed my attitude with regards to the work I did yesterday. I already walked in very fearful about doing the angles. I have never done angles before. This is not something that I know how to do. Um, and I pretty much doubted myself from the very beginning. And that totally tinted the whole experience because the minute it started to fall apart, I fell apart and I couldn't think straight anymore. Thank God Scott <laughs> came to the rescue. But the bottom line is this, if I had had a different um, mindset and if I had walked in with the can-do attitude that I usually have, like the one I had when I did the whole garden project, if you watch this, if you didn't, check out my channel, I built an entire enclosed uh, garden with a French train and everything in my yard and I'm pretty darn proud of myself for it, but anyway. Um, if I had come in with the same can-do attitude yesterday, I would have zipped through this and it would have been done. Uh, but instead, I just wallowed in, um, not self-pity, but uh, doubt. And that's not an attitude that's mine. This is not who I am. So yesterday was a big fail for me. I still got the stuff done. But it was a big fail. I ended up being exhausted at the end of it. Um, I'm looking at it now and I mean, you know, it's done, but I probably could have done a better job if I had been on a rested and more positive mind. So whenever you're going to start a project, check your attitude before you start and ask yourself if you are in the right mindset. If you are not, or if you have doubt that you're ready to tackle this particular task, postpone. And that's what I should have done yesterday. But I wanna get this closet done. So I was being um, impulsive, I guess. I don't know how you wanna call it. Um, I just wanted to do it. So today I'm taking my time. It's my last day of vacation. I'm going back to work tomorrow. Um, so after that, I can only work on it during the weekend, uh, maybe in the evening, but probably not film. Or maybe I will, I don't know. I don't know, I can't tell. Uh, but today I'm taking my time. Um, I have a whole bottle of water. I was also dehydrated yesterday, seriously dehydrated. Um, so I have a whole bottle of water that I'm going to uh, drink as I go. I gotta finish a good litter while I'm doing this. And I'm gonna do it in a relaxed way. Um, if something doesn't work out or it's not what I wanted, I gotta redraw, rethink, calmly, creatively, and without getting all frazzled, all right? So let me show you what I'm going to do today. Hopefully I get the whole front done. Perhaps not, we'll see. Um, and I hope you enjoy this. And I hope you enjoyed the little chat. Um, check your mindset before you start anything. You gotta be in the right frame of mind. Okay, back again. Uh, in a better mood, yay! Let's do this. All right, so today I wanna do uh, the 
half wall that goes here and then I'm going to place the beam that goes there all right uh, there's things that I need to take into consideration first of all I need to have this one here at 74 because that's what I said the height of the door would be okay but I need to have enough room I wish I had bigger pieces okay I want to use this because the two the header plate the header is going to be two long boards like this but instead of putting them this way which weakens them a little bit I'm going to put them this way all right so they're going to be two side by side sistered and they're going to go across like this but I need to have them go oh they're perfect right here uh, all the way up to here I don't know if you can see uh, but basically I marked where the board is going to go and remember I need two there's going to be this one here and then there's another one next to it So my bottom plate needs to be 15 and 2 eighths. Okay, so here's my 15 and 2 uh, eighths. And what I'm going to do here is to make sure that it's perfectly flushed with the big post here. I'm going to place this one here and this one here. And I'm going to align this to it. Right. and I'm going to keep this on while I'm screwing um, this board down because remember I gotta be flushed otherwise I'll have a, a closet that's sideways and all wonky My next step is the board that goes right in front of that bottom plate and is going to be at an angle here. So I have to measure the angle uh, and again in order to do that I need to find out what the height is. So let me measure this exactly 76. So the bottom part of the angle needs to be 76. Okay, so just to recap to make sure you get what I'm doing here. I'm going to have this one here that's the 74 that's going to be uh, the main frame for the door. And then I'm going to have this one sistered with it. But that one is going to go all the way up here at an angle. And then right here on top is where my header is going to rest. And here goes. Boom, angle is not perfect, that's all right. I'm gonna push it in, I'll put a bracket here, a bracket there. But could you believe that all these years of using that circular saw, I never realized you could tilt it. <laughs> Live and learn, okay. Uh, let's check plumb. Pretty good. And perfect here. I'm off a little bit here. So what I'm going to do is use my sander and sand a little bit on top here so I can push it a little bit more to the left. That's good. All right. Let's attach it. And for 
for extra support on this, I'm going to put cross beams, okay? I didn't put it on the other side, but I will on this side. Okay, so now I can put my jack stud, 74, right here. Okay, so let me install that. Um, and then I'll put the header starting to shape up. <laughs> You see when you have a different mindset, um, yeah, that's all I got to do now. I just got to do the header and then put the ceiling plate over there. Do a couple of, they have a name, I'll give it to you in a second. And do a couple like this and I'm done. <laughs> Alright, so now, here's an idea, okay. I didn't anticipate that this wall here was going to be this big. I really wanted a bigger door. This door is... I think it's 27. Oh no. Uh, let me see. 27 and a half. I wanted it to be a little bit bigger, 32, 34. But in order for me to do it bigger, then it would have to be lower. And the height is more important than the width. So I'm stuck with this wall here. And by the way, the solution to the problem that I had yesterday is basically once this is sheet rock, is to m match everything with plaster and just, uh, you know, fill it up and flatten it and level it with plaster. But my jewelry box, that's a standing jewelry box, if you've been around, you know, is a little bit shorter or uh, less wide than this. I could actually attach it to the wall on the inside. So when I come in, I could open the jewelry box this way and get to all of my jewelry in there and that will remove one more piece of furniture inside the uh, bedroom. What do you guys think of that idea? Now for light, what I'm going to do is get a pendant light that's a plug-in. People use them uh, as pendant lights above their bed if they don't really have a lot of room or if they don't want a bedside table lamp. Um, so they plug in and then, you know, you fix it to the uh, ceiling. I need a small one. I just need one bulb. That's it. But you can also buy the plug that's a remote. So I can put the uh, button for the remote right here on the other side. So when I come in and I open my closet, I can press the button and it would light up. To be honest, I really don't think I need light in here, but we never know. All right, let me install this. I'll be right back. Um, and then we'll put the header. So for the header, I need two pieces that are 30 and um, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Before I put my header on, you remember how I told you in the uh, last video that these things here will bend if you need them to? Uh, I'm going to reinforce this. And really this is just to reinforce it a little bit more, that's it. Okay, let's put the headers. Okay, so here's number one. Let's check level. Right on. Yay. Okay. And what I'm doing is that they're a little bit, because I added those screws here, they're a little bit too long now, so I have to send them a little bit. That's all right. I send them by about one eighth. Let's see how this one's fitting. Just gotta hammer it a little bit. Not by much. Where's my hammer now? Okay, so here's number two. Okay. 
Um, What I'm doing is that I'm flushing it to the back here. There'll be a space in between, I'll show you. Um, and the reason why I'm doing this so that I can secure it in the back. Okay, we're good. Okay, here and here. Flushed. Yes. reinforcers here I think it's overkill um, but again you know I don't have the best construction skills and this is getting shit rocked anyway so what I'm gonna do instead of doing them straight I'm gonna do them at an angle I don't know if that makes sense I don't know if that makes sense. It's basically to give it stability. Uh, and again, this is getting sheet rocked. And then the frame here is getting um, an actual plate on the inside, so the screws won't show. This one I'm concerned about because I don't want this piece to move. And then we'll do the test where I'm just going to hang from it and see what happens. All right, let's hang from it. All right, not moving. It's not going anywhere. I'm going to do the same thing on the back here for this one. Okay, so what do you guys think? Uh, I got a door. <laughs> And again, let's check. And again, let's check level. What do we look like? All right, pretty good. Uh, door here on the right is pretty good. Here's the door on the left side. Here's the front and the other front. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, measure from here to there. If only I could find. Oh. Do you know what I need? I need one of those belts. Um, you know, carpenter belts. So I can keep all my tools on me. Okay. And I'm gonna do because I want to put this uh, thing in there, right? So I'm gonna do one here, one in the middle. Do I need three? Let's just do two. One here. Let's do three. Okay, so they should all be the same, right? They should all be 15 and... What is this? 15 and a quarter. 15 and a quarter. 15 and a quarter. So I'm going to cut three. There are 15 and a quarter. Um, I guess this moved a little bit. It was 15 and 2 8. Um, usually posts like this are 12 on center or 16 on center, uh, meaning there's 12 in between or 16 in between. I'm a little bit short of 16, so that's all right. 
And then, um, I'm not going to do a little same thing on the other side. On the other side, I'm going to do little rods. So that way I can tie uh, belts and scarves and stuff like that. Though, I tend to keep my scarf either folded or en vrac, like, you know, in a big ball or whatever. But I'm trying to do something a little bit more classy. <laughs> so, what did I say? 15 and a quarter, right? So let me go cut 15 and a quarter times three and then um, install those. And then all I have to do after that is the top plate and maybe two pieces here to hold the whole thing together and the closet frame will be done. That's done. Okay, so now I need to do the plate um, on top and two bars uh, going this way, perpendicular. So let me measure that and then I'll come back and install those. And then I'm thinking that I am, after all, going to do uh, some transverse here, uh, probably one here one here and then stagger two more because i don't know this is i just want to make sure this is not moving basically uh but what do you guys think so far you can totally see it now right eh? can you see the closet and there's uh th there's a room you know i mean it's not big but there's enough for a whole clothes rack right here and then uh little cubbies here with drawers and then shelf on top and one of you had the idea that maybe I should do the shelf going this way and then another one going that way I'll do that you know maximize the amount of space I can get in there um, so let me take a break and then I'll measure those and then come back and install them hey 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 plate is up it's actually tension uh, held right now it fits right in and the only thing is all right so this is flushed perfect so remember sheet rock right is a little bit off right here so it's off by less than one eighth I could easily sand it but why bother okay here we go perfect I'm impressed with myself, can I just say that? <laughs> it's amazing the change of attitude, you know? All right, uh, these, I think they're called cripple, <laughs> cripple studs. I'm not sure, let's check it out. Yes, they are, they call cripple studs. So we got king stud, jag stud, cripple stud, header, uh, bottom plate, top plate. And I still don't know the name of the uh, transverse. Oh, I'm a little high. Do I need to send you? Nope. Hey, you know what? I can pressure fit those. Won't it settle now?
Huh. You know, as I'm doing that, I'm realizing why carpenters need an assistant. <laughs> I'm constantly going up and down looking for my stuff. Perfect. And perfect. Where am I going to put you? Right here. Okay, and the second one we're going to put right here. And we're going to do the same thing. Why is it higher? Oh, this one I think I need to change the... Uh... Oh yeah. I need to sand it uh, by about... One eighth. Let's do that. Okay, so this one is cut a little bit. Oh, it's still too tall. Why? This is my proof that the ceiling is not straight. This one's nine. This one's eight seventy-five. Okay, so <sighs> same business, little brackets here and there, here and here, here and here. Oh my god, I am so darn proud of myself. This is even better than the office makeover. I have a closet, it's framed, it's just waiting for sheetrock. I got this. So uh, I added one here, one here, and one here. Just for extra support. I put extra screws into the ceiling, extra screws into the plate or the stud that goes into the wall, extra screw extra screws here at the bottom. Um install those. And that's it. So the closet size is 51 by 24 51 by 24 it's a normal closet size I would say um, nothing super large I uh, couldn't do again I can't do over there because it's much shorter you see that couldn't be able to stand in it um, but this is done yeah. what do you guys think Pretty neat, huh? I'd say it's pretty neat. Let's look at it from far away. And by far away, I only mean the other side of the room. <laughs> so that's it. Yeah. All right. I did it. <laughs> I built the closet. I did it. It looks great. And even Scott likes it. He thought it was going to be like taking too much room and it really isn't. And uh, when you come from the staircase, it just is a continuation of the wall. No big deal. Um, this is looking great. So now I'm having a whole bunch of ideas. <laughs> Crazy ideas uh, for the rest of the room. Once I'm done with this, okay, one project at a time. Um, you know, there's that um, wallpaper called Subotex, I think. Sanitex or Supertex, something like that. It's paintable um, wallpaper, but it has a texture. And uh, I think it was very popular in the 1930s, maybe, something like that, I'm not sure, but it's paintable. So I think that's what I'm gonna use on the ceiling. Um, and we're gonna do a color. Um, we're still looking at that blue that we really like, that uh, Prussian blue. And then uh, what you can do with it, since it's raised, you can uh, gold leaf it. No, I'm not going to gold leaf it, but you can take uh, a sponge with gold paint and just go slightly over, really slightly, okay, uh, to do that. And then the bottom is going to be white. Um, Scott was asking me what I'm going to do with this wall. It's probably going to be white part of the staircase um, and then um, the whole thing will be white. 
but I'm very happy. So remember all of this here gets sheet rocked um, and then there's the uh, another plate here of thin wood that goes around to frame the door and then once that's done then I have to um, install or figure out what I'm going to do for a door. So I spoke to Scott today and he thinks the, the whole idea of the French doors opening like this is probably better than the um, uh, bifold. So that's probably what we're going to do. And then we're looking at possibly doing an Art Deco design on the door that when you close it, you get the full design. And then when you open it, obviously it's split in half. So it's just a matter of doing the whole panel with the design and then you cut it in half and that's it. Um, taking into account the hinges and all of that. But 51 by 24, it's not that small, okay? It's like the average person's bedroom closet. I mean, most people have big, huge double closets, I get that. But most European closets are smaller than this. So this is, this is pretty good. Um, it's 5.30. I'm actually tired. <laughs> but I just wanted to say as a final uh, note, I walked in with a different attitude today. Um, positive and uh, motivated. And I finished it. Okay, so going back to what I said earlier, you have to really check into your moods and um, attitude before you start any project. And if you have any doubt that today's not the right day, trust your instincts and just push it off to the next day or the next available day. Uh, so it made a big difference. But the biggest thing is, if there is anything that you can learn from this, do not let anybody tell you you're going to fail. Failure is not an option. And even if you fail, it's still a lesson. You've learned something. But don't let anybody tell you you're going to fail because the majority of people who will tell you that actually wish you to fail. <laughs> it's not that, oh, it's not going to work. It's that they don't want it to work because it makes them uncomfortable when others try to do something different and try to do something to improve themselves and improve their lives. A lot of people are uncomfortable with that. And instead of being honest with their feelings and saying like, wow, I can't believe she's just going to go and do that. Or I can't believe they did this or they're about to do this and look at me, right? They project their own feelings onto you. So don't listen to other people's opinions of your dreams and your projects, okay? What did I hear the other day? I think it was Steve Harvey, out of all people. He said, do not tell your dreams to small-minded people. Because what happens is that they would shoot it down. They just can't dream as big as you. So just go ahead and work on your dreams. I, um, I wanted a closet. I have a closet. End of the story. <laughs> Next week, what am I doing? Next week, I'm moving the thermostat to this side of the wall here. Over there, depending on... Um, I'll probably move it to the other side. Uh, the problem with the other side is that it's catching the temperature from the staircase. So you may kick in the thermostat non-stop. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that. So I'm doing that and then I've decided to do cubby uh, holes thing for my shoes inside the attic. So I have to empty out the attic, um, throw everything into this attic and measure everything and start building a little cubby on wheels accounting for the raised floor once I put the vinyl plank in there um, with two little handles to pull it out of the way if I need to have access to the um, attic and that's going to be for my shoes so all of my shoes and other things because I don't have a lot of shoes uh, are gonna go in that little cubby so I'll never have shoes on the floor in the closet they're always gonna be in there and that would be it for next weekend I think that's enough um, then after that sheetrock and then plastering I've never done sheetrock uh, so I gotta watch some YouTube videos on how to do that but I don't think sheetrock is that hard I think it's the plastering over it that's hard because it's got to be super smooth, okay? I got to smooth it out, probably sand it. It's going to be 
dust everywhere. I have to keep the vacuum close by. Um, but yeah. What do you guys think? I'm pretty proud of myself. <laughs> I really am. Um, I sent Mary pictures. I was like, look what I did. <laughs> so this is cool. This is really cool. Um, comment down below. Let me know how I did today. Tell me what you think of this closet. Um, if you have any other ideas, send them my way. And um, like this video. And don't forget to share this video if you think it's share worthy and you want to inspire others. Okay? Be inspiring. We're too quick to judge others. Try to inspire. It should be the 2022 word. If people, you know, like everybody comes up with like their word for the year. Um, inspire. That would be my word for the year. Um, that's it. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey, it's me. And guess what? Click that thumbs up if you really like this video. Thumbs down twice if you didn't. You can also share my video if you really, really liked it or save it to watch later. Also, you can subscribe to my channel, but don't forget to click that bell button so you are always notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching.